Beverly Barclay. Here, Palazzo Grimani, one of the best exhibitions in all the Biennale, full of light, full of colors, transparency, in one of the best palaces, uh, museum in Venice. Please, how did you originally uh, organize the exhibition? Because I think these are site specific, they made are for specific. the room where we are yes. in the Palazzo, connected to this uh, marvelous light uh, that you feel when you come from the staircase, uh, you're shocked, <laughs> shocked seeing this uh, beautiful, uh, transparent, uh, yes. I don't say canvas, but still works. Works. Please. P the PVC works. When I first stepped into this room, as you were saying, you walk up to the stairs, you walk up from the stairs and you see the light flowing into the room. And the one thing that I knew is I needed to use the light within my work, not knowing exactly what I was talking about physically, but I knew that this needs to become one installation. And then when I went back and continued working, I had already started working on PVCs, but only the one side. And I realized that if I take them off the wall, create, um, locate them within the center of the room, people can look at them from two sides. So it's an interactive communication of both sides. And then work on one side, let it dry, work on the other side, let it dry. And it starts building as a correlation between this side and that side. So you painted both sides? I paint on you both You painted sides. on both sides Which just I to also. give a different transparencies exactly. to the works. Exactly. And how do you choose the colors? The color actually, what I did was I spent a lot of time in the first floor of the Palazzo Grimani, in the museum itself looking at the frescoes, looking at the beautiful paintings on the ceilings and taking that energy and the color and the concept of what they were painting and bringing it up into the second floor. So you also have the pastelone, the different colors. You have the, the yellow and the, 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 the beautiful... This is, this is one of the rarest remaining in the Venetian palaces. And so you this have pastelone. the green also, it's beautiful yeah. pastelone. And that also, what I, the feeling that I wanted to give is that the work itself sucks up the color from the pastelone and just blows it up in the air and, 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 and continues the energy and the vibrance so that you get one piece going through. And then each piece, I, each work stands by itself, must be a finished work, but all the 12 together must have a dialogue of the space itself. And you don't, you don't really always work on the PVC. The PVC is uh, created, I think, for this marvelous exhibition to give light right. and color to all these uh, beautiful paintings, 12, that fill the space, uh, as we can see yeah. here. Fill the space. And I think uh, you are a pure artist. Uh, you prepare everything. You work by your own, uh, without any help. Uh, and uh, these uh, beautiful works, uh, I think they are very difficult and yeah. hard to make. <laughs> yes. Which is the way you paint? Which is the way you organize your works of art? What I start with is preparing the canvas or the PVC or the paper, because I also work on paper. Um, and I get everything ready. So if it's canvas, I stretch my own canvas because I think that the work starts from the preparation. It doesn't start from the minute you hold the brush with the color, with the paint on it and start painting. You need to prepare everything and all the preparation goes into the work. So I do that by myself, enabling me to understand the direction of the specific work. How am I going to paint it? What subject? am I interested in? And, and it's um, like if, if I take orchids, I work with orchids, I work with a model, I work with um, the view outside my studio window, or I go out and paint outside um, in the beautiful view in Israel. But 
once something starts happening within the preparation, within the site-specific place that I'm working in, then I know the direction that you organize. That I organize, that I, that I do. And, and like, it's just like preparing the PVCs for the site-specific here. Or preparing the carpet. Because you're not supposed to stand on the floor on the Postaloni. You need a carpet. And I knew that the carpet needed to be, or the, the, the path needed to be made from a substance that is good for the building and brings everything together as one piece, one site specific. Last question. Apart from the light that is clear and evident, uh, which is the inspiration that Venice gave to you? I think it's walking around Venice and, and coming into contact with the people, the Venetian people who live here and the vibrance that Venice has as people living and the history of Venice, going back to all the painters, going back to to the method of painting, the, method, the history of art, the history of architecture. And all of the sum together is the inspiration. So it's not one specific thing, it's coming back, staying for a week, going back to Jerusalem, coming back again, visiting for another week, going back to Jerusalem, doing this several times, and then understanding, I think, in depth what happens underneath just one visit in Venice and there's a whole beautiful world, it's a wonderful place. Because you need time as you for everything. Time. Yes. Thank you.